Welcome back to Street Fighter VI. Moving forward, we're gonna be fighting like we always have and switching to classic controls. With classic, of course, this is the old school way of fighting game controls that have always been a thing. It's ever since Street Fighter II, basically, redefined what a fighting game could be. Three punching buttons and three kicking buttons, each of which having a different level of intensity to them. And it, it does make things a little bit more complicated. Oh my god, I have so many points. I need to use those. Because you need to move your directional buttons or stick in a particular way, like to form a quarter circle or what I'm going to be referring to as a DP motion or dragon punch, uh, which is pressing forward and then down and then down forward. That one's really tricky, but in my opinion, it's a lot easier on a hitbox when you have buttons to press instead of a stick to be really specific with. And for those of us who don't know what that means, what is, what do you mean when you say hitbox? Uh, I explained that at the beginning of the last video. That is a, uh, as the controller that's kind of like an arcade stick, but instead of a stick, uh, it's four buttons. Okay. I don't know how I missed that. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so, like with, uh, with the hitbox, it's basically kind of like WASD on a keyboard where your top three fingers are on left, up, and right, and then your thumb is down at the bottom on what would be spacebar, which is up. Which is below, but if you think of it like a keyboard, it's not nearly as, uh, confusing. I don't get it. Okay. I was trying to go back into dripping style to go sh clothes shopping more proper, but they won't let you until you talk to Alice first. But there was a help wanted sign on the store. Oh, we can get the job. We <laughs> There are part-time jobs that you can do in this game for the record. They're essentially little mini games that help you with actually learning how to play fighting games. I'd imagine a new player would find them at least somewhat useful. We'll be getting to those in later parts though. <laughs> By the way, we talked last time about how we designed Bopette. I want to point out how much time we put into getting the dipstick ponytail just right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because, like, it gives you a ton of options for... Uh, this is Miles. I already explained those. They give you continues. They give you a ton of options for, like, mixing colors of your hair, but it took us a while to get it so that just the ponytail's end was colored and it didn't bleed into the bottom of, like, the back of her head. Thankfully, whenever new clothes and stuff become available, you will get a notification for it. Now, you can also use master actions. Each master has their own ability that you can use on the overworld, which you can use not only for initiating fights with a bit of an advantage, but also for traversal. Certain moves will allow you to fly forward, which allows you to do some basic platforming, interestingly enough. All right, let's dress up Bop Ed. You know what? I really like the hat. The hat's staying for a while. <laughs> How do we feel about the suit and tie? Uh, the, the downside to any avatar creator like this is that the clothes always look really baggy just so they can facilitate a bunch of different body types. I will say the jeans went pretty well with the shirt. I agree. I, I don't think I bought them. I don't have a ton of money right now. I only have 600 zenny. Yeah, that's the only downside. <laughs> Clothes cost money. Yeah. Getting money is pretty easy, though. You can get them from fighting or as well as the uh, aforementioned part-time jobs that we'll be running into. This is where you can also go to change the color of your clothes. You earn dyes throughout the game, either by finding them in the world or, again, beating people for them. Oh, you asked to put on the cat ears? We're doing it. Yes! Oh, but I don't have the money for it. I do have the money for these glasses, though, and she looks great in them. But do we get stats? Yes, you uh, get focus for it, uh, which accessories usually just give you an ability rather than a straight stat boost. I don't remember what focus does. <laughs> I pay more attention to how the clothes look than what they do. <laughs> Fuck oh. you. <laughs> right in the spine. <laughs> She's even wearing your hat. You're supposed to be friends. 
Oh my god, she is. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> and she's just like, oh, thank you for fixing my back for me. Wait, stop! You unfixed it. <laughs> You're gonna break it again. And here are the missions you could do during basically every fight to earn extra items, to earn money, extra experience, clothes, anything like that. Okay, nice. Imagine. <laughs> Glad you thought so. <laughs> Imagine beating up an innocent, and then, like, they're like, hey, I punched you eight times, so that's extra cash. <laughs> you sure did. Here's my wallet. <laughs> so certain characters you run into are actually going to be students of Masters around town as well. And if you beat them using the same character that's portrayed next to their name, then you get extra XP. There's two different kinds of XP. There is character XP, which uh, you just get from, you know, fighting anybody at, at any time using any style, which you can use to give yourself increased stats, but also every style itself has its own experience level. And fighting the characters that use other character styles with the same style also gives you that bonus XP for that style. So we've already gained quite a bit of XP from Luke, if you see down there, uh, that purple star is Luke's gym. That's where he's always going to be hanging out. There's an SP next to him, which indicates that if we go talk to him, we can learn a new special move in his style. So we're going to go do that now. Ah! <laughs> so it's right before Bumpa gets hit by a car. <laughs> it's fine. I tried chasing it down. I'm not fast enough. <laughs> Oh no, an indignant intern! Oh. <laughs> oh, right in the chin. This is an example of the aggressive enemies. I don't think the in indignant interns are necessarily a gang. I think they're just pissed off. <laughs> just some uh, poor employees who are just <laughs> that enough. The only annoying thing is that with aggressive enemies, you can't see what their missions are before you fight them like you can with more civil uh, pedestrians. So you have to pause and check all the time when you get attacked by people, and it's kind of annoying. Ah, sorry, Taichi, I almost hit you there. <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> Lands on the bench. Oh, thank you. My god, why is he so oily? <laughs> Probably because you uppercutted him in space. Where all the oil is. <laughs> Ugh. If I threw him three times, then I would have gotten some blue dye. But he was literally too weak for me to do that, so I couldn't. <laughs> and you see his hand, he's clinging onto the blue dye like, ah, 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 there was only two. It's okay, this less oily version of the same guy only needs to be knocked down three times, which I can do. As much as I would like this LP to just turn into a how-to-play-fighting-games LP, I, I feel like the story mode is... It's to teach you a little bit here and there, but if you really want to learn, there are better teachers than me. I am better than average at fighting games. I feel like somebody who's never touched a fighting game would look at me and be like, oh, wow, you're pretty good, huh? No, not really. There are better people to teach you. I'm just fine. I just like playing them. Honestly, I was the story mode was one of the things I was most excited for in this game. Hello, Hillary. <laughs> it's never not funny to just clock him. And if you saw, Hillary had Luke's face next to her name, which means that we're going to get some bonus Luke experience for beating her. That she is a Luke stand. But also, I love how when Bopa misses a grab, she just goes, Damn! Damn! Zoe! <laughs> uh, that was uh, right in the coochie there, Bopa. <laughs> it's the weak point. I'd, hi, dog. I, I knew it. <laughs> Hello again, Luke. It's been Yo. five minutes. I know he's not cross-eyed, but sometimes it looks like it. Ooh, our first super move. Vulcan Blast. It's just a super version of Luke's Sand Blast, which we actually haven't learned yet. 
It's a projectile super, and you do it by doing two quarter circle motion forward and punch. Or if you're using modern, then you just press super, or, uh, the, your super button, which by default is triangle or Y, and the B button or your uh, heavy attack button at the same time as a direction. And then you'll do your super art that way. You can see how modern controls really make things easier and why it's probably understandable that uh, modern users do a little less damage. It would especially become apparent later on when we start learning some throw moves, some special grapples, where if you're using a standard controller in classic, then you need to do you need to spin your directions in 360 degrees and then press a button in order to do it, which which is more difficult than it sounds, especially when you're using four buttons instead of a stick. Hey. And instead, with modern, you just press two buttons, like a button in a direction to do them. Whoa. Like, that's just so much easier. Nothing like stinking up your bed all night. <laughs> <laughs> you ever reek in the night? Thumbs up. <laughs> Basically. So, if you didn't think we had enough experience to worry about, every character also has a bond. You can increase your bond either by answering these questions that he gives you correctly and in a way that he'd like. He will ask, um, Luke will ask you certain questions as you get more experience points with him uh, through his style. Also, there's a gift system. He has a favorite gift that he likes. We will be finding that later and we'll be giving him that gift a lot. And that will increase his bond as well. <laughs> Bonds basically... There is a photo mode in this game, and if you increase the bond enough, then they'll that unlocks more poses for them to do. And if you max out their bond, you for can example. unlock their alternate costume as well. You can also use real money to buy the alternate costumes, but don't do that. That's it's it's not that hard to max out a character's bond in World Tour. I would only do that if you just fucking hate playing World Tour for some reason. <laughs> Especially once you find out what the bond item is, and you can just buy, like, duplicates and just spam them. And just keep gifting them. Because there's no limit to how many gifts you can give, but there, neither are there limits to beating the shit out of people, so... Yeah. Damn, Tommy. He's got some moves. <laughs> the interesting thing is that randos who don't have a master, they have unique moves that you can't learn. They're not that good, but you can't learn them. <laughs> but I like that it just means that any rando on the street is not defenseless. Yeah. So as you can just see, I activated a tough jawbreaker, which slightly gave, which gave me a bit of a buff. That's basically the only time I'm going to be using items is when there's a mission to beat somebody with a buff activated or something of the like. Ooh, barrels. Nothing in them. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sometimes you'll find items in barrels. Also, breaking items such as barrels and boxes do give you a, a negligible amount of miles as well. Cop! He's got blue! I wouldn't dare skip the cop fight. Bring me to Wei Shen or die! <laughs> so that's the Vulcan Blast. That's our only super move so far. And of course, you can only use super moves when that meter at the bottom of the screen fills up all the way to a one. Eventually, you will get the ability to store up to three super moves. And there are super moves that we'll be getting later that either take two or three bars to use. And of course, each one increasing in strength. I'm not going to be going back to... Ooh, white die. Uh, I'm not going to be going back to the master every time I level up with them. I'm going to be kind of storing them and then coming back to them in rounds. Ooh, a ladder. We have no use for that. I don't know why. There, there, there's something up there. It's not that special, but I still feel the need to make it a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be coming back there later to, uh, to meet a character. Oh, hey, it's Ryan. Don't hit me again! Hey. <laughs> she stops her fist from shaking. Fine, I'll resist the urge to bop. Bop Ed. 
<laughs> Welcome to Chinatown. What are you looking <laughs> Right? <laughs> Lee Finn. She's not new. She was actually introduced in Street Fighter 3 as a young girl that Chun Li basically rescued and adopted. But this is the this is her a fair bit older. I think she's like 14 at this point. And now she is a top us. Wonderful. <laughs> Lee Fen, I'm disappointed in you. Hope you know her name, because I can't read that. It's all that fooling. Chin Chu. Chu? You're just way too good. Choo choo. If you call me that, I Sorry will kill you for trouble. real. I didn't mean to get you involved. There's a fake way. Allow me to show you. I'm Chun Li. Is there something I can help you with? Maybe. <laughs> you cannot date any of the characters, but it sure feels like they're trying. <laughs> We're all thinking it. I was just about to say, is it about my legs? It's about my legs, isn't it? Thighs, actually. <laughs> <laughs> there is some dialogue about her legs later, actually. We will be getting to that. <laughs> I'm a friend. Yeah. She's looking like right at the legs, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. What? <laughs> now then. So, Chun Li is an ICPO agent who's basically on a sabbatical right now and is using her free time to teach Kung Fu. Now then. Beat up my daughter. <laughs> Kind of funny how you say that, actually. Falls <laughs> asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not all of them do. What did you do to the rest of my students? <laughs> I'm just that good. You're in the crush zone. Watermelon crush zone? I mean... <laughs> Shout here! <laughs> Lee Fen's been practicing. Oh, look, that old lady's kicking ass. Oh, she broke a hip. We are now Chun Li's student too, so we can change to Chun Li's style whenever we want. And in addition to that, we have a couple moves. These are charge moves. If you see that yellow arrow, that means you need to hold a direction for a particular amount of time, usually like about a second, I want to say. I, d I don't know if it's an exact second or not. Roughly. Roughly a second, and then press the opposite direction and a button in order to do it. I'm not very good with charge moves in general, and that makes Chun Li, you know, she's actually Chun Li is of course one of the most popular and well-known Street Fighter characters. Everybody knows Chun Li. Despite her popularity, usually, you know, they want to make a character like that more accessible to people. But Chun Li is one of the most complicated characters in this game, and I'm not good as her. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. That was her spinning bird kick master action, but... <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know it was the cut, but it looked like she just gave her the elbow drop from hell. <laughs> I forgot to switch styles. Hold up. Also, uh, we have a stat to use. Oh, more accessories. I definitely want that. Fashion over fighting. She needs to be gaudy. 
<laughs> I go back and forth between gaudy and fashionable <laughs> pretty frequently. Uh, kick strength, because, you know, we just got Chun-Li, and Chun-Li is very focused around her kicks, so. All right, let's switch to Chun-Li. So that changes your stance as well as all of your normal buttons. But for special moves, you can you can still equip all of the special moves that you learned from Luke. By default, the Kikoken and Spinning Bird Kick are already equipped. We're going to keep those equipped for now, but we're also going to add the Rising Uppercut so we have a good uppercut move to use when enemies are jumping in at us. Yeah, it's always good to have an anti-air. Yeah. And this menu is where you go to check your status with all of your masters. Your style level with them, as well as your bond level, as well as a little profile about them. And everybody's fighting style. For the most part, pretty sure most of the fighting styles are based on real life martial arts. I think there are some fictional ones as well. Uh, but of course, Chun, Chun Li is a Kung Fu master and Luke is more focused on MMA fighting. MMA is of course, you know, mixed martial arts, but whether or not they are an accurate representation of any of these martial arts, I do not know. All right, Lao Tang. <laughs> Did it up close to his chest? I have a new way of saying hello. <laughs> oh, hello, young lady. <laughs> So one of Chun-Li's abilities is her stance. If you do a quarter circle forward and punch, I believe, you do this little crouch. And then if you press any button after that, it does something different depending on what button you use. That is essentially what makes Chun-Li so complicated, is trying to incorporate that into her combos and her and her move sets in ways that are quick enough for you to actually be able to combo into things. Chun-Li is hard to use. <laughs> Especially uh, when you're, like, picking up these characters in World Tour. You basically get to, like, try them out, especially if you've never played them. So there might be some moves that you're trying to do, but because you haven't unlocked them, you can't do them. A well, Lao Tang knows what's going on. Um, but yeah, yeah, I've actually learned that I enjoy playing some characters by trying them out in World Tour. I'm going to be trying to play as, as many different characters as frequently as possible in this game. Kind of like in how in WarioWare Get It Together, I tried to play as, as many characters as equally as possible. But if, if once we get all of the masters, I'm probably going to consolidate Bopet's moveset into something that fits her character. No. No. Oh. <laughs> What I like is that when you switch to the styles of these characters, like, you not only... It's not just their stances and normals, it's also, like, their defeat poses, their win poses. So a lot of the times <laughs> you'll see people falling in, like, really dainty poses. <laughs> I just beat this guy, but I had to talk to him and fight him again in order for it to count. <laughs> it was like, that fight didn't count, I wasn't ready, and the sun was in my eye, and, uh... I didn't say it was okay to kill me. Oh. <laughs> I definitely want that white die. White die is a little rare. She also has that little toe tap move where you just Goomba stomp people. <laughs> On the topic of that, Yoshi, I, I personally wish that you could customize your winning poses. Like, if you wanted to use Luke's while using Chun-Li, I would really like that. Yeah, I would really like that too. It's completely cosmetic and un unnecessary, and if it's not added, whatever, but I'd like it. <laughs> I feel like they could either patch that in or somebody could get a mod going for it. Hello? Your phone is connected to your brain. Your phone is connected <laughs> to the leg bone. <laughs> ah, God! <laughs> you done fucked with the wrong grandma now, little lady! That'll make me stronger. Come at me. <laughs> Fucking with the wrong grandma is my middle name. <laughs> Actually, it's Bob Ed, but... <laughs> they don't call me Helena Bob Ed. Fucking with the wrong grandma or ran for nothing. <laughs> I 
Get over here. <laughs> oh, I'm really cooking her. I'm really kicking her coking right now. <laughs> Oh. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I am disgraced. <laughs> and of course, like any grandma, she's telling you to cause damage to public property. All the cool grandmas do it. <laughs> but as you saw there, that guy was using the spinning bird kick to jump across awnings. There will be some platforming in this game. Get ready. Hi, Lee Fen. I think Persona has taught me if anybody wears their headphones like that, they're a hacker. <laughs> and apparently Li Fen is more like Chun Li's little sister rather than daughter. I don't know why fighting Li Fen specifically activates the, the final round thing instead of just engage. There will be fights that in- Oh god, I oh wasn't paying god. attention. She's also three levels higher than me. I think I went in knowing that. So let, let, let's just take- Let's just say that I did this as an excuse to show off continues. So, as I said, you earn miles, you get continues. I didn't want to use one right there because you just respawn over here in, uh, in beat square and you don't really lose anything. And I didn't want to beat her anyway. I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of items trying to beat her. Hi, ma'am. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. <laughs> didn't I just see you? Li Fen, you've grown, you've aged in the seven years. <laughs> the seven years since you knocked me the fuck out? <laughs> Which was not canon. But no, one thing to remember is that the Street Fighter cast are basically celebrities in this world, so you will see people cosplaying as Street Fighter characters in Metro City. And this is just explaining the, the missions you could do for every fight. They call them drop locks. I think that's a dumb name, so I just call them missions. Now the question is, can you kick my ass? Let's find out. So I can get your red die. I wish I hit the guy behind her by accident. <laughs> like somehow you missed. Oh, by the way, when you use a master action, it uses up some of your drive meter, as you saw uh, when the fight started, it was yellow. Right, I tend to forget that, because it only usually affects things when you're trying to break through a bunch of items, and then you run out, and then you have to wait for it to refill. Yeah, because the worst state you can be in is if that thing runs out, then you get into a weakened state, where all of the damage uh, is a lot less, and drive parry moves become harder to block. Yes, um, if your drive meter completely drains in the middle of a fight, you become... Why am I... Yoshi, why am I forgetting the term? It was weakened, right? Or no, it's there's exhausted? a word for it. Uh, burnt out, that's it. You're burnt out. Burnt out, right, right, burnt out. Let's beat up Mizue, uh, and you're burnt out if your uh, drive meter runs out. Right now, we don't really have a way of using drive meter at all during fights, because we haven't learned anything like that yet. But when you're burnt out, the moves that you block do a little bit of gray health damage. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> sir. I thought I was going to land on him and kill him. <laughs> she kills, like, three of them by accident. So yeah, uh, you take chip damage when you block, which you don't usually, so you only do that when you're in the burnout state. Also, if somebody uses a drive impact on you while you're in the corner and you're burnt out, then you splat against the wall and you're stunned entirely and you're completely open to attack. I keep forgetting about the smiley face we put on her hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. Really? Also being burnt out, naturally, since it means you've drained your drive gauge, you're not able to use any moves that use drive gauge, like overdrive moves or drive impacts or drive parries. Listen. Listen. <sighs> 
So of course we will be looking at all of the dialogue we unlock for the masters. Each time you level their style up or level their bond up, you get some more dialogue to speak with them about. <laughs> now we have Chun Li's number. <laughs> that was so easy, dude. <laughs> now we have Chun Li's super move, the Kikosho. Wow, well, have I ever scared of girls before? <laughs> it's a very close range blast. So it's good for just comboing into close range punches or anything of the sort. Impressive as always. Chun Li is asking what we think the perfect picture of strength is. We don't necessarily think it's just a, a hulking man with huge rippling muscles. Yes. My mom and dad. I don't know them. How they are? haven't invited me to Smash yet. By the way. Puts a hand on his shoulder. Keep dreaming. <laughs> Three Street Fighter characters? <laughs> That's a laugh. Hey. Do you think I should change up my look, Chun-Li? <laughs> As she stares blankly off in the distance. <laughs> Let's do some selfieing. Like I said earlier, the more you increase your bond with a character, the more pose, the more likely they are to pose when you press uh, a particular button in camera mode. Oh man, her bangs look rough from this angle. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. Bop it. <laughs> Her face, thank you. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to change poses more. Ellie Fed just picking her nose in the back. <laughs> 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 I nailed you. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to do more poses, but it looks like this is the <laughs> this is the only one we have available to us right now. Honestly, the whole selfie feature is a little clunky, so as much as I'd like to, I'm not going to be showing off all of the photo mode poses as we get them. I might show them off like at the end of the LP, all of them. Maybe that'll be what runs when we give our final thoughts on the game. But yeah, here's the thumbnail for the video. I'm trying to get that set up. instant. <laughs> 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 Do you want to fight me? <laughs> yes. Eventually, your masters are going to want to spar with you. This is going to be a more standard Street Fighter fight, where it's going to be a first two rounds won. If you lose these fights, you don't need to use a continue. But if you win them, you get more bond points with your master. Now, Chun Li is five levels higher than us right now, so this is going to be a little tough. And uh, as you can see, Bumpet got hit like two times and most of her health meter went way the fuck down. Yeah, our levels and our armor are not great right now. Either you're not expected to win this fight or you're not expected to get to this fight this early. I won this fight. That's because I kept punching everybody I saw. And so I was like level 20 something by the time I got here. Well, I'm trying to do a show here, so I got to get things on the road. Yeah, not only that, but you're also playing a fighting style you, you're not really used to. No, I am. I tried to learn Chun Li because her animations are fantastic. Like everybody in this game is so incredibly cool. It's just she is too complicated. Thank you for the pose. I I, I really won it from this angle. <laughs> And even your master fights have little missions for you to do as well to get items. And if you lose the fight, you still get the items, I believe. So that die that we just earned, we keep that. Yeah, because I noticed in a previous fight, you got the die by winning. So I assume that you could lose the fight, but still keep anything else you got. Yes, exactly. Ah, she whooped my ass. Yeah, she has twice your health, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Listen. 
Shut up! Listen. I can't when people are talking. <laughs> Ooh, here's a feature. You can actually call your master into battle with you to help you out in tough fights. You just press LB and RB together and one of your masters will come in to help. I actually don't know how to pick one. You will see your master's face in like the bottom right hand corner of the screen and uh, or left, I forget. But whoever's there will come and help you. I don't know how you pick who you bring in. It just always seems to be random. I'm sure there is a way to pick that I can't, that I haven't found though. I haven't been able to figure that out. I'm assuming it's random. Oh. <laughs> you also can't fight children. You can create children to fight, but... Like, Lee Fen is just tall enough where it's okay for her to get socked in the face, but the other kids... You must be this old to bop. <laughs> Literally. Ah, oh, dude. And she's got a Lilith Darkstalkers sticker there. Dude, she has great taste. <laughs> Lilith greater than Morrigan. Come at me. It's just uh, them going, yep, we'll make a new Darkstalkers <laughs> someday. The Canary Crate Gang. You know, them. Those guys. <laughs> yeah, there are a few different gangs. Oh, oh, we've been doing plenty of this already. Don't worry. Uh, there's a few different gangs. They all behave very similarly. Some may have certain moves that are more common amongst their ranks than others. But, eh, they, they all fight pretty much the same. All right, time for some more property damage to get some money on the roof. Woo! <laughs> that goes on for so long. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm burnt out. Now I have to wait. There we go. That takes a really long time. Like, I really, I don't, I kind of get why it uses drive meter to use master actions on the overworld. Because, you know, if you just keep spamming it, then nobody who's trying to hurt you will ever hurt you. Kind of. But when you're doing essentially this, just traversing and destroying things to get to areas, having to wait for your drive gauge to refill is annoying. Yeah, I would have liked it if it was more conditional. Like, oh, you're using the drive parry on a sign or a thing, therefore it doesn't run out. But if you use it on, like, a person, then it should count as a use. Yeah. But I would imagine that would probably take extra programming and coding. I'm, I'm talking out of my ass. I've never made a game before, but I'm just assuming. I have, and they should do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. It's what they did in Elden Ring. If you weren't in battle, you could sprint pretty much infinitely. Oops. <laughs> you hear that, Capcom? Elden Ring can do it. We need Elden's Elden Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Street ring. Oh! Right in the shin. Ah. <laughs> I take it back, I take it back! Oh, my, my frame rate's going down a little again. Ah. A knee in the back of the cardboard head. Yeah, that's the weird thing. That's not a box, that's the real head. He turns around and this is the bunch of red behind him. Ah! You crumple the box. It crumples like cardboard, but it just bleeds. Good job. I mean, he, he just let you do it. Too. Yeah, low level enemies tend to be cocky and taunt you, and you can take advantage of it. Come on. Oh, a cat. You cannot pet the animals. Ooh, you get a shirt from this guy. We gotta kill him with two aerial attacks. <laughs> yeah, if he has enough health for it, you didn't get that. Yes, shirt get. 
fuck off! Now we can rip the shirt off of him. <laughs> God, what's actually really frustrating, certain NPCs will be wearing clothes that you can't earn. Like, later you'll be seeing a lot of NPCs wearing this really nice-looking sports bra, but you can't get one for yourself, and that's really frustrating because I want one. I haven't equipped the Kikosho yet. I'm assuming they're gonna want you to, like, actually, like, just take off the tank top you have, because that's the closest. I mean, yeah, when you take off the tank top, you're wearing a sports bra, but, like, uh, Pope, no pants. Gotta get those back. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, not here. But I, I just think that the sports bra I'm talking about looks nicer than the one they give your character. More accessories. Let's see what else we can equip. Gloves? Please. Please. Uh, we're kind of beyond baby wheels. I'm begging you. We've grown up, Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grown up. I've evolved into water wings. Oh, but ugly green, green shirt. Yeah, that's fine. I'm trying changing it up. I, I got it's our first shirt we get. <laughs> I don't care what you do. You look like your mama dresses you. She does. She has alien sense of fashion, so I mean. I was gonna say I take it back, but what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> oh, uh, bye. I'm one third bird. Now I'm into girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, them one third bird girls really, really getting to me. <laughs> I'm just wrecking this guy's fucking hideout. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, like come, I live here. Like, that's all his things. <laughs> this and they're serious about the gangster life. Here's a feature of World Tour is pressure time. It's essentially teaching you how punishes work in main fighting. Uh, when a character is doing a move that can be punished, they will glow white. And if you hit them while they're glowing white, they will fly off across the screen. And if you hit them with a special move while they're glowing white, then they'll bounce off the wall and they'll be stunned as if you used a drive impact. Oh, nice. Uh, as if they were... Very nice. As if you used a drive impact on a burnt out character. They'll just be totally stunned for a second. No. But you gotta use the right move. I'm trying to show it off. But again, I don't use Chun-Li, and fighting co computers is weird. That'll be my excuse for this whole LP. Including when I'm not using Chun-Li. Even when, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Playing as one of my mains, like, wow, I don't even play Chun-Li. <laughs> yeah, this green shirt looks terrible. I wish I didn't wear it. I was just like, oh, it's green, Little Mac. But we're grown up now, so we're supposed to have bad taste. <laughs> exactly, Yoshi. Have you seen my tacky-ass taxes that I do? No. There's a rotten fruit style you're going for here. <laughs> I think my philosophy was, oh, green, like Little Mac. But it just doesn't look good. <laughs> The reason why his tank top's black <laughs> and his gloves are green. I am wearing too many different colors, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's shirt green and my mom's orange pants. And my teacher's yellow gloves. And the pink hat is for me. <laughs> I'm still here. Just want to trigger pressure. <laughs> God damn it. Got what you asked for. Nope. <laughs> and that was the last we saw of Boluo. Oh, yeah, excuse me. They only fly across the screen when you use the special move to trigger the pressure, which I should have been able to do that, but I keep messing up my uh, uppercut motion. Oh, we hit each other. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and he also went into slow motion. <laughs> Yes. This sucks. 
<laughs> What's your deal, <laughs> dipwad? <laughs> He's my best friend, no matter what he says, okay? <laughs> I've known him for three minutes. That's longer than I've any known to anybody. Wow, that was a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he dropped his buckler ID. I don't know why Bobette's eyes look like that when she's staring right at somebody. <laughs> Those arms. Wow. You're jacked. It's because she's not supposed to be wearing glasses. They're not prescription or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Went into the store, saw the cashier wearing glasses. Like, I'll give you $300 for those. <laughs> Her vision's been blurry for about 40 minutes now. <laughs> There's another excuse I can use. I don't use Chun-Li. Fighting computers are weird. My vision is blurry. <laughs> and Jacob doesn't wear glasses, right? <laughs> no, no, not these. All right. Oh, we got another pair. Great. Maybe these will work better. <laughs> Maybe if I put the second pair over my first pair, it'll fix my eyes. You can literally do that. You can wear two pairs of glasses at once. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it seems that Bosch is up to some weird shit. But who cares? We got two Chun Li's. I, I never pointed this out, but uh, as you can see, for the second character, I'm also just showing off their alternate costume here you get for maxing out their bond. I have not aged a day. Wow. I like the... Uh, like, there's this artist I follow on Twitter. Um, I, I believe his name is Her uh, Hershwar, who draws My a lot of Street Fighter Chun fan art. And they've pretty much accepted that Chun Li is like canonically in her mid 50s because of the date of birth listed in Street Fighter 2. Even that's not how this canon works. I mean, a lot of the Street Fighter characters are basically mid 40s, early 50s by this point. For now, I'm on a sabbatical from work. I've been spending my time teaching Kung Fu in the city. So Chun Li's story actually mentions a bit of the events of Street Fighter V, where the main Street Fighter villain, M. Bison, was defeated for good, supposedly. And Shadow Liu, the evil organization that he ran, was disbanded. Marisa here is another newcomer, and she is fucking fantastic. I can't wait for y'all to meet her. I really like Marisa. Like, not only is her design cool, her fighting style is really interesting, too. She's one of my mains. And her personality is just so interesting. She is a very flamboyant character. Whatever you say. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak human. <laughs> oh, you're like that Bobette girl. I feel like Bobette and Marisa would have some kind of connection due to their Italian roots. I love how high you fly with that kick. One little, little thing I appreciate in this game that Street Fighter V didn't do, when a match is over, it doesn't say you win or you lose. It says character wins. It's just a, a nice little thing. You did not earn this. So that you don't have to hear Show you yourself, lose. Judy Han. Well, look at that. I heard rumors you'd retired, but I guess your senses are still working at least. Did you honestly think you would go unnoticed? Stealth has never been your specialty. Don't I know it? What How makes you say that? Something a little more my speed then. You, you, you stand out like a sore thumb <laughs> or a sore toe, oh, if you will. Yeah. That's the stuff. I was worried you'd be losing your touch. Your concern is touching. Well. No, our legs are touching. Yeah, what's your rush? 
Just thought I'd give you a little warning is all. If you think now the big bad's dead, this whole thing's over, think again. What exactly do you mean? If you really want to know, you're gonna have to beat it out of me! Also, he's fucking M. Bison. I mean, come on. You think he's really dead dead? Come on. He's literally died and come back like a bunch of times. Time to play. I love Jury's theme. The music in this game is spectacular. It's weirdly contentious, but I saw one post, and I don't mean anything negative by this. People who like the Street Fighter VI soundtrack versus people who don't like it are, they're very, it's a very clear line between video game fans and music fans. I love music in general, so I recognize all of the like cool instrumental choices and melodies that go along in the fight. But it's, it is extremely different from past Street Fighters where I've never been big on Street Fighter music. I think a lot of it just kind of sounds the same. It's same kind of like break beat, very similar tempo music. There's like do -ja -ga -do -ja -ga do -ja -ga do in like every song. But this game changes things up very much with a lot of different genres and tempos and beats and stuff. I think you would really enjoy the uh, Street Fighter Third Strike soundtrack. Oh yeah, I listened to that one plenty. Because uh, Street Fighter Six like echoes a lot of Street Fighter Third uh, Three's like, style in terms of graffiti art, uh, hip hop influences. To me, it, it, it comes off as like a throwback, but also like also being its own style at the same time. Oh, I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! Look what I did. <laughs> and now I'm gonna unleash my ultimate power. Street Fighter 6 is actually the latest game in the timeline of Street Fighter as well. I didn't manage to get any more info out of Judy. Even after Bison's That's what happens death, when you knock her out. Any chance <laughs> yeah, because I beat the shit out of her. I have no choice Wake to up. cover the truth. Hey. <laughs> I guess I really uh, am a worker. Uh, uh, Wait, man. <laughs> Feet. <laughs> 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 Feet. <laughs> and now the Chun Li jazz. Oh, it's over. But yeah, Street Fighter VI is the first game in years and years to actually continue the Street Fighter story as if Street Fighter story really matters. It really doesn't. <laughs> Even the Street Fighter story in this story doesn't matter a whole ton. But one of the criticisms of Street Fighter V is. Like, I, I believe I mentioned in my little preamble that it had a lack of identity. It was basically just Street Fighter 4 again, which itself was Street Fighter 2 again. Street Fighter 3 has become a cult classic in a, in a way, is considered one of the most well-refined classic fighting games of all time and is beloved, especially amongst competitive players. But at the time, Street Fighter 3 was a financial disaster. And that's why there wasn't a Street Fighter 4 for like 10 years after that. Street Fighter 4 was a rehash of Street Fighter 2, and then 5 was a rehash of 4. I lost my point. My point is, uh, 3 was <laughs> previously the latest game in the series. Everyone was a little older. It had a bunch of younger characters that nobody liked at the time. Because like, this isn't, this isn't the characters I know. But 6 is the first game to actually go beyond Street Fighter 3 and actually take place a little bit later in the timeline. Yeah, uh, Street Fighter 4, like, the reason why it was a lot, uh, it echoed a lot of Street Fighter 2 is because it was essentially a soft reboot, uh, not just of Street Fighter, but, like, the fighting game genre, because for a while, the fighting game genre, it had its boom in the 90s, and then it just kind of petered out, and Street Fighter 4 was just super successful into bringing that back. So, uh, that's why it's like, oh, it's like Street Fighter 2, because, well, hey, that was the most popular entry, and we kind of need to get something out there familiar for the people to win the crowd back. Yeah, I was not big into fighting games when I was younger. Like, I played some. I loved Soul Calibur and stuff, but I wasn't, I was by no means trying to be good at them. And even I knew how big of a deal Street Fighter 4 was when it came out. There was a ton of hype behind it. I did notice that it helped the at least a brief resurgence at the time of fighting games, because, like, around then is also when Mortal Kombat 9 came out. Super Smash Brothers is its own beast, but Brawl was coming out around that time, too, which had a ton of hype around it. But then, like, there was a bit of a petered-down point as well sometime in the 
like mid 2000s there just wasn't a lot coming out and what was coming out wasn't great i don't know if this is just my change of perspective because i've actually gotten into fighting games myself so i'm more participating in the community of it but it really feels like fighting games are having another resurgence now not just with how popular street fighter 6 is but also you know games like guilty gear are having their most successful entries ever with Guilty Gear Strive selling over a million copies, which Guilty Gear has never done. So I feel like fighting games are getting really popular again. At least it seems that way. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially with Tekken 8 around the corner and Mortal Kombat 1, which uh, is a reboot and is actually called Mortal Kombat 1. Cool. Uh, so that's not going to confuse anybody. But yeah, like Mortal Kombat games have always been like super more successful like I, I would argue street fighter is more of like the fighting game franchise that your dad would know and them and mortal Kombat, i'd say are like kind of hand in hand when it comes to like mainstream pop culture yeah like the, they're arcade staples mm -hmm. so yeah like now that uh fighting games are kind of like having like a bit of a renaissance especially with rollback netcode being a goddamn staple and a necessity like you can't you cannot release a fighting game in this day and age without rollback netcode it's it's just not it's not a good idea the only people who can get away with that is <laughs> nintendo but they're they're stupid in their and successful in their own way. And like Jacob said, Smash is a different yeah. beast. That having been said, god damn it, what are you gonna get? make a fucking have good online already? People who play Smash as their only online don't know any better. I.e., I used to be someone who played Smash as their only online fighting game, and I didn't know any better. And I literally went back to Super Smash Brothers after getting into like Guilty Gear and Street Fighter, which have just so much better online play and going back to that was not easy it just everything felt wrong <laughs> that was a tangent uh join us next time for more bop it adventures <laughs> bop it kick it pull it throw it uh, yep i pulled it <laughs>